Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Hopefully you enjoyed the music while I was gone, but I'm back. You know, I was out getting my next guest. I've got Claire Roosh. She is a wedding expert and it's always a good time to talk weddings. Claire, welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here and chat about all things wedding. Well, you know, it's a little, probably a little bit difficult for people to to uh, plan a wedding. You know, you got those who are vaccinated, those who are not, you know, those who can travel, those who can't. So I can't imagine what the challenge is. Let's discuss some challenges that are facing uh, planning a wedding during the pandemic. Give us an insider view. Right. Yeah, you are right. There are quite a few challenges, things that we've not seen before. All the things that you listed are very real challenges that I'm working with our couples on. Um, I I feel like one of the biggest challenges is honestly, couples are faced with reimagining their day. For the last 18 months, they've not been able to hold what most people would consider a typical wedding. Um, And so they're reimagining their day, how they want to spend their day, how they want to spend their time and money, which at the beginning, right, change is hard. It's a little rocky. We're all navigating how to figure this out. But at the end of the day, I think it ultimately serves couples. It leads them to a more personalized wedding that ultimately is more representative of who they are as couples. And they're able to spend their time and money, how they'd actually like to do it. A really practical challenge that I'm seeing is oftentimes reducing guest counts or limiting who's able to attend based off of various criteria. Um, and so couples are still wanting to get married. They still want it. That has remained very true the last 18 months, but they're being faced with the challenge of really reevaluating what perhaps they've always assumed their wedding would look like. It might look a little different now, which can be challenging. All right. I want my audience to know that Claire Rose, she's in Southern California. So she's a Southern California wedding planner. She's the owner of Grit, G-R-I-T, and Grace Events. And She has amassed over 1 million TikTok followers, and that's no small number to, you know, laugh at. That's pretty good, Claire. Thank you. Okay. What some of the, you know, okay, they've got these challenges, kind of how are people overcoming them, and what are some of the trends for celebrations? Yeah. People are overcoming them in a variety of different ways. I am seeing couples be most successful by really honing in on what do they truly value for their wedding? Having, I also just generally encourage have time set aside, have, you know, dates or go out to dinner and commit to not talking about the wedding. It's important to have space room. So I think that helps a lot, but some of the trends that we're seeing is I'm seeing quite a few smaller weddings or even just a large variety of weddings, right? Things that were not on the table 18 months ago are now on the table. There's really, it feels like there's no such thing as a typical wedding anymore. They all look so different. And so we're having backyard weddings, which prior to the pandemic, there was like a a preconceived understanding of what those were like. And now they're pretty different and they are often the choice that people want to make. They want to go that route. Or we're doing wedding weekends where it's, three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where you're inviting close friends and family to spend the whole weekend with you, which is completely different than a typical wedding day. Um, People are obviously still choosing to have larger weddings. That's still the dream and still what they'd like to do. But I think what I've seen really over the last 18 months is an explosion of creativity. I'm seeing things that before we weren't considering are now totally what we're considering. It feels like just about nothing's off the table, which Again, at the beginning, change is hard, but I ultimately think it's serving couples and the wedding industry. Um, And something unique that I'm noticing is that even when people are choosing to do smaller weddings or more intimate gatherings, they're still wanting those customized, personalized elements to give that wow factor. Don't we all want a wedding that people walk away from thinking like, oh my gosh, that was amazing or so beautiful or so unique. And so it's fun to work with sites like Shutterfly that 
allow you to do that with so much ease. So maybe you're doing that wedding weekend in the mountains and you're going to do custom blankets for the 30 guests that you've invited. That's not as much of a possibility when you have 200 people, but with 30 people you do. But if you still want those personal touches, it's fun to see people integrate those into those bigger weddings, like custom napkins, so on and so forth, a really unique guest book. So there's been a lot of change. I ultimately think it's good. It's been really, it's been really exciting to watch a lot of new creativity come into the wedding industry in the last 18 months, for sure. Well, let me go off script and ask you this question. Since you plan weddings, do you plan uh, um, anniversary celebrations? Because you're on the front end. Do you get a chance to see the back end? Yeah, we definitely at Green Grace specialize in weddings. It's our bread and butter. Um, we are open to anything. So we've planned, we've planned a variety of events, but I would definitely say weddings are typically where we stay. Um, but at the end of the day, planning events is fun, no matter what it is in my world. So <laughs> definitely open to that. All right. Let me ask you just real quickly. Um, how, how are people navigating COVID restrictions? Yeah, I am seeing people navigate it in a variety of different ways. I feel pretty privileged that a lot of our couples, you know, you know, a lot, there's pretty diverse perspectives on COVID. Um, and so we've been able to walk alongside quite a few different couples and how they've chosen to navigate it. And the bottom line, even among all the differences, is that people are choosing to reflect on what they personally value and what they personally want to do and what they care about, so on and so forth. And so I'm really seeing couples hone in on what they together value and are prioritizing in terms of COVID restrictions and that how they're choosing to move forward. But I also think a big element that plays into it is the county, the state, the city that you're living in that's going to affect pretty significantly your wedding. Um, so from my experience, those are the big things that I'm seeing people deal with and, and when they're navigating all of this. It's it's no small feat, but I'm seeing people do it with as much grace as possible. <laughs> and do you and do you guide them with okay, just say you have a wedding in Santa Barbara and the you know thing, the restrictions may be just a little different even though it's in California. So are you aware of a lot of these restrictions to say, oh yeah, we can do that and we can't do that, or do they tell you? Yeah. Yeah. We, I try to stay up to date as much as we can. We have had the privilege of doing weddings all up the West coast. So I've been able to see different cities and how they're handling it. It's always unique to walk into a new, unique new environment and see how each County is handling it. Um, generally speaking, a good rule of thumb is that the venue, the space where you're hosting the event is going to tell you pretty clearly what they do and don't allow. Generally it's them that it affects the venue is affected the most by the restrictions. So I just try to follow the lead of the venue. I do really seek to educate myself on all of the different counties and how they are handling it, how each city is handling it so that I can come in with our team and make sure that we're being respectful um, of the couple and of the venue and of the county. So it, it's a team effort, I would say for sure. All right then. Well, you know, this interview uh, was made possible by Shutterfly for me to have this interview with you. And before I let you go, I got to ask you about the visuals, about the pictures. What are they doing? Yeah. Oh yeah. People, I mean, it's been fun to see people get so creative with what they want to do. I see people have you know, we have beautiful guest books that people love to have out. It's at your welcome table. People can sign it. Um, I, I'm seeing again, a lot more creativity come through this season. So it's, it's fun to work with a, a site like Shutterfly where you have so many options, what you can do. You might be planning a small wedding, a big wedding. It kind of serves the purpose it serves a purpose at every wedding that might happen. Um, so you can have unique customized favors, which people generally really like. Sometimes that's not as much of a possibility when you have a larger wedding again, but perhaps with a smaller wedding, it is more of an option. People, guests love seeing pictures printed of you throughout your relationship. And we use those at the welcome table or the bar or at the cocktail table. So feels like sky's the limit, which is why I love going to a site like Shutterfly is because there's so many options and they really make it easy for you to implement personalization to your wedding. All right. This has been a great interview. I want to thank you for taking the time. Where did my audience go online to find out more? They may be planning their wedding or their celebration. Yeah. Yeah. A great place to go is shutterfly.com slash wedding. Thank you, Claire. I really appreciate it. And you seem like wedding planner extraordinaire. 
If I hadn't been married since the beginning of time, I'd have to get you. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.